Alright Vapors, everybody Vapor here again with a hardware review of this little thing. The X-Star VC4. It's a 4-bay charger. Um, it can charge lithium-ion batteries and also nickel metal hydride batteries as well. And it can charge a huge range of different sizes. It's very kindly sent to me by the guys at GearVest.com. Well worth checking out their website. Thank you very much, Wade, for sending this on. Great communications from them as well. Um, and you can pick this up for, I think, it's around about $26. I'm not sure what that is in pounds, but I shall put that in the description below. Also, a link of where to buy it in the description below as well. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at it close up and we're then also going to talk about its technical specifications and also its pros and cons. So the VC4 comes packaged in this very uh, well packaged box. Lots of information on there showing you different battery sizes, a layout of what it actually looks like. It takes uh, Lion, also a nickel metal hydride, nickel metal hydride batteries as well. On the side here, we have a little bit of a barcode obscuring some of the information on the box. And this is all the features, the introduction to it, the features that it has, and also the input. So it takes a five volt input, 2.1 amps max. Uh, it's a very, very <laughs> comprehensive piece of kit by the looks of it on the outside. And that is the list of batteries that it takes. So a huge amount of batteries that we can use in this and charging. So it's already opened at the top. We've got the a USB charging cable with a, uh, a kind of five volt uh, charging pin there. And then we have our instructions. We're gonna go through these as we go through the review. And then we can pull this out and we have a warranty card. So that's our warranty card there. Remove the box. And it comes in this package in this kind of fabric-y, almost like neoprene bag. And we can open up the bag here. And there is our charger. We're not going to put it on just yet. We're just going to show you it. Um, we can take all this here as well. And that is the screen all nice and shiny. So as you can see, it's got a center button there. Your four different spring-loaded uh, kind of battery bed sleds there on the back here tells you about the input the output as well um, and also what it can charge it's got reverse polarity protection as well which is very good to see and a bit of i don't think that is venting on there all right and there's our input there so very clearly uh marked what input it is five volts maximum 2.1 amps going into it okay so what we're going to do is couple of batteries in it and then we're going to charge them up and see how it works so we have four bays on our charging unit I'll just take these batteries out for now and we've got one two three four the two outside ones are larger they have got a max input voltage uh, or max input rate of one amp so they can charge at one amp two center ones can charge at 0.5 amps larger ones are on the outside they can handle your two six six fifties Two center ones, 18650 is the largest diameter battery you can put in there. So what we're going to do is just plug a bit of power in so we can have a look at the screen. And there we go, as it all lights up, see some nice little, um, nice little graphics on there. So we've got our four charging bays lit in green at the moment, which means there's not either nothing in charge there or the battery is fully charged. And then we have two dials, two dials per channel. Um, we'll show you how to toggle them in a minute. So this shows you the milliamps per hour that's actually put into the battery. And this on the outside shows you the current state of the voltage of the battery, going from 0 volts to 3 volts all the way around to 4.2. And this is the input, 0 0.5 amps is going in at the moment. Okay, so what we're gonna do is put two batteries in. We've got two uh, Samsung 25Rs just rewrapped. So we're gonna stick them on the outside ones for faster charging. Here we go. As you can see, the charging um, lights light up red on the two channels. So channel one and channel four is now lit up here. We press the button, we can't toggle because we don't have any other ones in there. But it shows you the milliamps per hour going into the battery. It also shows you, this, so this one is at the moment 3.5 volts. And this one at the moment is at three volts. So we're gonna see how much um, power goes into the battery. 
So as you can see here, what it's telling me is charging them at um, about 0.7 amps. Uh, and that's purely because of the, the actual adapter that I'm using to, um, to charge it with. Uh, if you get an adapter that is rated at 2.1 amps output, then it's going to charge a little bit quicker. Okay, so what we're going to do is just let that charge. And then we're going to come back to it and have a look at what these readings are, how where it gets to 4.2, whether it gets to 4.2, and also how many milliamps per hour is put into the batteries. Ideally, if their batteries are good, they should read at 4.2, and we should have a large amount of milliamps per hour. As a rule of thumb, if you're charging batteries, then you want to make sure that um, to see whether they're safe batteries, if they charge really quickly or they don't reach 4.2 volts, then you know your battery isn't quite as healthy as you'd like it to be. So it'd be trying to change the batteries. But as you can see, these are charging at a steady rate. We should be able to see the difference between the two. And hopefully in a few hours, they should get to 4.2 volts. So we shall come back and have a look. So there we go, it's now fully charged, took about three hours to do. We have got the one that was on three volts is now at 4.2 volts and it's put 2,427 milliamps per hour into the battery. So we know this is a pretty good battery. This one was at 3.5 volts, charges four, and it's 2,314 milliamps put into it. So we know these are pretty healthy batteries just by looking at the amount of milliamps I put into it and it's fully charged at 4.2 volts. Um, as you can see, the digital display flashes here. Let me just put a bit more brightness into it. There we go. It flashes here for 2,314, etc. So let's put another two batteries in. As you can see now, it's dropped down to 0.5 amps and we are looking at channel two and channel three. As this one's at 3.5 volts, this one is now at 4.2, it's up to. And we can toggle between channel 1, uh, channel 2, channel 3 and channel 4 by pressing this middle button. And now we're on channel 1 and channel 4. 4.4, four, four, and that's the ones that are now on charge. So as you can see, it's very useful because it shows you, you can pretty much look at the state of your batteries and decide whether they're healthy or not by the amount of milliamps per hour put into it and also the voltage that goes into it. And it, uh, it works really well. The display is great to read. It's very easy to use, very, very simple to use, and it can take various different battery sizes too. So there you go, the VC4 up close. Oh, let's talk about technical specifications. I'm gonna read these off because they are huge. Okay, so the batteries that this can work on is two, any uh, 26 millimeter diameter battery and also any 18 millimeter battery as well. They're the ones that we prim primarily use for vaping. Um, there are also loads of other batteries it can use as well. Um, it's, it's just huge. It's well worth looking on the GearBest website. Follow the link below and have a look at just how many batteries this thing can charge. Um, so it charges lithium ion batteries and also nickel metal hydride batteries as well. Uh, each channel is completely independent. It's all charged completely separately. Now the power input that you put in gets split between the four bays depending on how much power you've got put coming into it. And it can charge two different types of battery at once. You can have a, a lithium ion battery in one bay, a nickel metal hydride battery in another bay and it will charge them independently. And it identifies them as well. It lets you know what battery is being charged. It's also got a zero volt activation. So if your battery is so flat, you've got zero volts in it, it will activate it. It will put, start the way that it charges is um, it has three different charging processes to get the best charge into your battery. It's also got a soft start as well. So it will slowly start charging your batteries. It won't just hit it with a massive charge straight away. It's intelligent. Um, so it automatically chooses the best charging process for the battery and the state of the battery as well. Um, and it's got optional charging currents of 0.5 amps or also 1 amp. So the two outside bays are 1 amp and the inside ones are 0.5 amps and that will charge continuously. Um, it's also got, uh, it intelligently identifies the power input. So whatever the input you've got coming off your adapter, etc., it will identify that. And as you see on the center dial, it will tell you what that is. 
um, and it can smartly identify bad batteries. So if your battery is bad, it will let you know, which is a very useful feature for vapors, because the last thing you want to do is put a bad battery in a mod and it start venting on you. Okay, soft start function avoids damage from large current while charging. Um, it's suitable for IMR batteries as well, which is useful, and small capacity battery and flat top batteries. Um, it's got uh, slots one and two, uh, sorry, one and four have wider bays, which can handle 2650 uh, batteries, um, and also flat batteries as well. Uh, protections from overcharging, reverse polarity and short circuits if you put your batteries the wrong way or you get a short in there um, or it won't overcharge, it will cut off power to whatever bay you're using and no more charge will be going into that. And it's got a fireproof ABS casing as well so if you do get some kind of charging issues with that battery then um, and it causes a vent or a fire maybe then the actual casing itself is fireproof not that it will stop the battery venting, etc. But uh, hopefully with all the safety features, etc. it's got on there, then it won't. Okay, so it's very, very, very in-depth, very good intelligent charger pros then. Well, as you can see, you can see how many milliamps per hour you're putting into your battery. You can also see the state of the voltage of the battery. You can see the current that's going in and all the intelligent features that it has as well it means you're charging your battery safety. Uh, safely. That LCD screen is very, very easy to read and it's also got a dimming cutoff so you're saving power. So once you charge it after a few minutes it will start dimming that screen for you. It also lets you know when the battery is charged fully as well. So very, very useful bit of kit. Cons? Um, can't really see many cons apart from the actual um, adapter that you need to charge it. It's a USB adapter that you put the power in. Um, so ideally, in an ideal world, you'd want an actual plug that you could just plug it in rather than having to buy a separate plug. But that's only just a minor thing. I can't really think of anything that I don't like about this charger. Um, it shows you the milliamps per hour that you're that you're putting in. It shows your charging rate. It shows you the voltage. So I just think it's a very very useful bit of kit. It's well worth it for twenty six dollars uh, with free shipping from Gearbest. You can't really go wrong. Exceptional bit of kit. Very safe safe to charge with, um, and it will to handle four batteries at a time as well. So thank you very much to Gearbest for sending me this charger. You can check it out using the links below. Uh, don't forget to check out all the other um, reviews that we've got on the channel. And also the new uh, Everyday Vapor, Vapor website, everydayvapor.net. So VC4 from XStar, check it out.